Hello everybody, today for you I have some gameplay of the new Wipeout 2 on the iPhone. It's a free-to-play game. Uh, it has all the trappings in a free-to-play game on the iPhone, including you know, energy that you spend and multiple currencies within the game and one currency that you slowly earn and another currency that you earn even more slowly that I'm not even sure if you can earn or just uh, handed to you at random. Um, anyway, so let's check it out. Wipeout. Wipeout's a fun show to watch. This is a game that's not as fun to play. Um, it's, even though, um, so I'm recording this on an iPhone 5 right now, and even on that, it's, uh, it's a little bit sketchy. It does have some, like, it's, it's weird talking about frame rate issues for such a simple game, but it does happen in this game. There are uh, quite a few times I've seen the game stutter and, and lock up, especially when uh, getting wiped out. And you'll notice at some points throughout this demo here that, uh, or throughout this video here, that if you get, if you hit an obstacle and fall back right on the platform, you can actually get back up, like after your character becomes conscious again, which is kind of a cool feature. I don't remember if that was in the first Wipeout um, iPhone game. Anyway, Wipeout's a fun show to watch. I just any of the variations of that, whether it's Ninja Warrior or uh, oh, there was an old. Spike TV show, I think it was, but it was like a weird Japanese version of Wipeout and they had like huge groups of people But then they had these two like Japanese commentators and then they but instead they dubbed over Funny US commentary. God, what was that show called? It was fantastic. And I think everybody's fantasy when watching uh, Wipeout or Ninja Warrior is like well, how would I perform in that situation? And I think that's what this game kind of loses is you know, it's it's more like when, when you're playing this game, it's more about, oh, just finishing the level and completing the challenges, not losing yourself and watching it thinking, how would I get through this? Um, what, how would I tackle this obstacle? Oh, that person's so fat and slow and dumb. I could do it so much better than them. And things like that. I think a lot of what's also lost when playing the game versus watching the show is the sense that, I mean, these are just, stupid pixels getting flown around and there it's it's a pretty repetitive death every time death or wipeout i guess not death uh for these characters as they're platforming through the section whereas on the tv show they have amazing camera angles and people just you know completely ragdolling themselves as they go off these things and just it's so hilarious seeing these people just get completely obliterated on these insanely fun looking obstacle courses and i, I just have to point this out this is one of the most brilliant uh, pieces of advertising I've ever seen in my entire life. So I'm I was watching the wipeout or I was watching one of the new episodes of wipeout On the ABC website and I paused it just to record this uh, video here and I can't believe they had this when you pause it in the middle of the show It says did you pause for a bathroom break and it's an advertisement for Merbitric it's a prescription medication that you should talk to your doctor for if you're urinating frequently. I, that's, that's so insanely targeted advertising. I've never, that, it, it's just blowing my mind how good advertising is, is that being targeted to what you're doing these days. That, that I'm, I'm completely blown, like it's annoying, it's advertising and you can't have ad block on on the ABC website or else the show doesn't even load. But this is like, I'm I'm impressed by how annoying this advertising is like give them a round of applause. That is insane So anyway back to the game the actual game. That's why you're watching this video uh, There's a lot of different things to level up an enormous amount of things to level up and there's multiple characters to level up and multiple characters to buy and uh, All the things that make free-to-play games frustrating uh, The controls aren't spectacular on this game I don't know what else to say before I just go on an insane tirade about how bad free-to-play games are. So anyway, thanks for watching, and um, if you're going to download this game, well, there's a link in the description. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more iPhone gaming updates. Thanks for watching. Game on.